Hey, hello guys. Hi, welcome to this new video. I hope you all fine and safe. In this video, we're going to talk about end-to-end -end encryption. If you guys new to our channel, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let's get started. So, what is end-to-end -end encryption? When you message to another person using WhatsApp or some other end-to-end -end encrypted messengers, it ensures only you and the person you are communicating with can read or listen to what is sent. And nobody can between. Not even WhatsApp or the network provider or even the government. So let's see how it works. First let's see how encryption and decryption generally works. I'll try to explain in a simple layman term. The encryption is called a hide, a decryption called a visible. The text messages, images, video, and all of the type of data, unencrypted data. It's not secure. And a ciphertext is an encrypted one. Ciphertext it means a kind of a jumbled word by using a cryptographic method. For example, if you type hello, it's called as an unencrypted data, and it converts into a jumbled word like this. It's called as a ciphertext and a jumbled word method for using a cryptography. A plain text is encrypted using a secret key to produce ciphertext. You need to unlock to read these messages some mathematical algorithm created by the cryptographic method. Like a plain text plus secret key equal to a ciphertext formed a jumbled letters. A ciphertext minus a secret key equal to a plain text. Your original text get back. So this is how encryption and decryption generally works. So here's the problem in this technique. Yes, the same key is traveled but the data and the same key can decrypt the data. Might have a chance to hack or it passes through the network even your network provider can access this data and sell it to anyone so what is the solution here comes the end-to-end -end encryption end-to-end -end encryption uses two keys instead of one key one key will encrypt the data and another one will decrypt the data let's see about the two keys whenever you start type for sending message to someone your automatic random number will create for example look at this these numbers are act like a keys this is called a keys one is primary and one is a public key let's see about private key and public key private key the private key is always with you it's a kind of a private the private key is decrypt the data it means to unlock the data your public key the public key is a shareable key you can share it to anyone the public key is encrypt the data it only used to lock the data imagine this scenario this is me and this is you i have a private and public key and you have a public and private key when I start hello to you not hello any messages the cipher text will create it and it's encrypted by your public key and it passes through network server even maybe hacker no one can access this data because it only decrypted by your private key it's need your private key to unlock and in a normal format so this is how end-to-end -end encryption generally works there is a lot of mathematics behind this your private and public key are generated on your mobile when you install the app or update the app or your start a message to first time for someone it will automatically generate it in your WhatsApp Messenger or some other messages which supported end-to-end -end encrypted. 
They want to know you and your receiver are end to end encrypted. Follow the steps. Click the profile. Click on encryption. You could see the random 60 digit numbers. Scan the same as to your receiver followed by the scan at your green tick will pop it means you and your partner are end to end encrypted. This is how you find you are encrypted. That's it guys, this is all about this end to end encryption video. I hope you guys understand. I will see you in another video. Bye bye, take care.